M0FXB DV Mega Globe Trotter. So these are these are pretty much plug and go. They use the blue DV system. Looks like this. So you, when you get it, plug it in. Make sure you get the cable the right way around because you will break it if you get it the wrong way around. And what you want to do is get your Wi-Fi in there. So we go through the the menu selections. Go menu. Push it again. Ambi server. And yours should say, when you get to status, it should say Ambi server. If it doesn't, push OK. Now push it again. Then push OK. See, it says Ambi server. Ambi dongle. Dongle means you can just plug it into your PC with the micro USB cable. You don't need to use the Wi-Fi. But anyway, let's keep going to server. Go menu. Menu again. And what we want to do is add our Wi-Fi details. Keep going until you see the screen. Wi-Fi config. Okay, mine's a bit pixelated, but it's there. Let's see if I can get a better focus. Now press the, let's get it right, the OK button. And you want to press the middle one until it says scan. Do a scan. Click OK. It's going to scan and find the one you want to use. Once you find it, then press, now I want to use the next one down. Press menu to the next one down. Click OK. And now it's going to tell you to choose your password. Now it's a bit long winded, but um, it's doable. So you're going to keep pressing and you can hold it. And you're going to choose a, uh, you know, a letter or a number. If you hold it, you go to letters, numbers. Now we're going to be here all day if I do mine. But we're going to show you. We'll do a couple. There's B. J, a couple of J's, go to some caps if you want. When you're done, what you want to do is keep going along. And at the bottom, now you do, if you make a mistake, there's a delete there. Keep going until you highlight delete. They are, delete in caps. And you can delete some characters. And then, but then you've got ready. When you've got, when you're done, click ready. Okay, and that's it, it will connect. So I'm just going to turn mine on and off. I don't want to change mine yet. Connecting Wi Fi, look, and it's all configured. And you can see my IP address there. Let's see if I can get it a bit better. Focus 192.168.0.108. So now we're ready to, you know, we're ready to use it now. So when you just, it will revert back to where it says DV Mega, and at the bottom it's going to have your IP address. And we're in Ambi Server mode. Then we're going to go over to the settings on our device. Remember, this is just powered by 5 volts. It's not connected to my computer. If I want it to connect it to my computer to configure, remember I just go, keep pushing the middle one until it says Ambi. Click OK, change it to dongle. Click OK again, Ambi, which is what we're going to use, OK? So let's go over to the PC and configure. So at the PC, we'll go to Blue DV and we will go scroll down and click here where it says software, PA7LIMNL. Thanks to David for this software, OK? Ambi 3000. You'll go to this page and then click Blue DV Beta. Now, if it asks you, just click Windows if you're using Windows. But anyway, Blue DV Beta, download that. And you'll end up with this program, okay? Then go to Menu Setup. So we're not connected to anything yet. In this window, we need to add our call sign. Now, if we were using a cable, we would right click Device Manager, double click Ports, and we would get our our port no, or our yeah our port number basically which we could select here but we're not using a cable but if we were that's what we would do but we're using IP addresses so if you look here we've got the board rate set at 230400 my DMR number we're using Ambi 3000 you do tick thumb DV and you do tick 
Ambi server. Now we're going to need to put the port nu the port number, sorry, the IP number that is in our dongle that we've just seen, which is 108. We can actually double check that. If we use a scanner like Angry IP, we can double check it, or I can just check in my router interface. And it's showing where is it? DV Mega Ambi 108. Look, so I know I'm on what it's it's you know transmitting Wi-Fi on 108, or it's linked in that in that I call it a circle of Wi-Fi. So back to the program. We need to make sure 196.168.108. Bram Meister here. If we're going to use Bram Meister D Star module, I've selected B there. Over here, look Fusion. I've got YSF. I selected CQUK or FCS. Actually, I use FCS 390 whenever I use that. If I can find it. That's the one I tend to use. But anyway, YSF. Password for master password is I've got Raspberry 6 set for 2341, which is DMR. DMR here I've put twice. I've put it twice there. Enable DTR, I've done that. RX TX colors ticked. Invert the colors so it tra it's red when you transmit. I've got frequency in there, but it doesn't matter because I'm not using that. But it doesn't give out a radio signal. This is purely internet. So then if you've done all that correctly and you slide here, you've got serial. Let's just uh, like so. If you've done it correctly, and if it connects, you know, it will see that after a bit of a delay. Ambi 3000 comes up and look, connected to Ambi 3000. We're not connected to DMRD Star or Fusion at the moment. So the next thing you do is you can just slide that off a minute, Ch click Ambi up here and you can select your microphone and speakers and you can plug in items as well and it will, they will show in the list. You can update your host, so go down all these one at a time, click update and it will be, and you'll have the latest DMR, D Star Fusion, uh, you know, NXDN, all your latest hosts. The other thing you can do is click here where it says Ambi, and you can make adjustments to your audio. Okay. Type. Yeah, you can select different DMR numbers as well. You can type them in as well. Look, just put in 91 there for now. And group, private group. You want, you want group really. Last heard, that's your dashboard, BM lookup, APRS chat. We're not going to do that now. So let's leave it there. We're going to turn on and let's turn on DMR. And it says connected. So which one are we connected to? DMR 2341GB91 there. Let's M0FXB test. Connected to Ambi. It's in there. Let's try Fusion. I've only had this dongle for about an hour. We're going to link to Fusion. It says linked here. And let's try that transmit again. M0FXB, M0FXB. Now we're not seeing, for some reason, we're not seeing it go red and green. We are linked. It says here linked, linked. Yeah, we're definitely linked. Let's just do that. Go back to the menu setup. We normally just tick here and here. And we'll be linked. Save. Serial. It links. Connected. Let's do D star this time. We'll go reflector one, Charlie link we allow that link to one charlie same we're linked so we should be able to get a contact so m0 fxb calling for an audio check mike zero fox x-ray bravo not sure why the colors aren't changing but we should get something back You see me there? We're not connected to Fusion, not linked to that. One Charlie, try it again. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. M0 FXB, call in for a contact. Audio check. 
So that's it, have a play. I still got more to learn. I, I'm just getting my head round it and see what you think. Have you used a globe trotter? Bye for now. If you notice here, it says idle. Should we try, before we go, we'll try DMR again. DMR. It said not linked. Let's go. M0FXB. DMR, it says we're linked. There's an error. It says there's an error there. So if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know. Bye for now. Cheers.